folks. I posted this video originally last night and a viewer brought to my attention something which frankly is a little embarrassing, but hey, uh, that's why we're here and that's why we're learning. Um, I actually had the tool cutting piece of the fly cutter mounted incorrectly. Um, this, this video I'm inserting in the original video here, um, so what's to follow is the video from last night which is uh, shows it fly cutting with the tool mounted incorrectly. The piece that I'm pointing to here, or the fly cutting face, um, instead of facing the way it is, was actually pointed down towards the tool. I'll show you that again here in a second, just more explicitly. Anyways, um, like I said, frankly, a little embarrassed that I had it wrong. Um, but nevertheless, uh, you know, that's why I do this. Is sometimes I think it's a little tough for newcomers or folks that don't have experience with uh, as machinists or to machine shops to, to learn some of this. So hopefully it's educational for everyone. Um, I also shortened up the uh, tool length a little bit to try and give it a little more rigidity um, and just wanted to give you a quick look at what I just cut, which I was able to cut one thousandth inch depth of cut going at four inches per minute um, with uh, 27, 2800 RPM on the spindle and, f and the finish frankly is every bit as nice if not even nicer than the stuff I was cutting last night, which you're, you're about to see here in a second in the video. Um, but once again, just wanted to share, and I'm going to show you the tool bit. Okay, folks, here is the standard uh, fly cutter that I purchased from TEG with a 3 8 inch shank, which I, I put in the 3 8 inch collet. Um, when, I was mount, uh, when I was fly cutting last night, um, I was mounting the tool like this with the uh, ground surface facing the uh, bottom of the part, um, and this is the footage you're about to see here, um, that was incorrect, and what you just saw me milling or corrected, you mount the part like this so that when it turns, it's turning into the part as such. It wasn't as uh, intuitive to me, it just seemed like it didn't make sense that you'd be cutting all along this bottom edge, but uh, that's definitely right, and as I just showed, it did a great job cutting. So once again, the tool is uh, tool cutting bit is mounted like this, not like that. Here's the fly cutter I'm using. This fits in my 3 8 inch collet. And the current uh, setting here is about a 2.4 inch diameter, uh, which, which I didn't think I'd be able to pull off on the tag given its rigidity, but it did work. I um, also just wanted to notice that after about 
a half an hour or so of cutting. Um, you can just barely see, I'm not sure how this is going to show up on YouTube, but um, it has started to wear off the radius, flatten it a little bit on the tip there. Um, I've actually, since I've started uh, using a lathe with high-speed steel tools, I've actually got a grinder on its way, so I think I'm going to probably take a, take a stab at, at sharpening that and flattening that back out, but it didn't appear to impact the surface finished um, towards the end of when I'm assuming that this was, you know, most of the wearing had already occurred. Um, but anyways, here's a quick, just wanted to give you a quick look at the flat cutting. I just finished the last pass on the on fly cutting, and I'm going to take it out of the vise here and clean the part up a little, but I wanted to show you what it looks like. There's still some uh, coolant residue on here. Then you'll notice I didn't actually finish um, fly cutting all the way down. There are probably a few tenths of thousands left that uh, I left because I'm going to, to be sanding this actually anyways. Um, I didn't, don't even need the surface this nice. It was just simply an experiment to see um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, to see what it would be like fly cutting it. Um, so that doesn't bother me. But as you can tell, um, really a great looking surface. And I'm actually really happy with how um, the, well, the whole thing came out with it. But in particular here, which would be my um, layover, her overlap in the two fly cutting passes is, is really non-existent. Um, so pretty happy with how it came out. All right, I took the part out of the vise, cleaned it up a little bit, and here you can see. Um, this is definitely uh, the best fly cutting job I've ever been able to do. Uh, frankly, I didn't think the tag could do uh, such a good job, particularly since I was running the fly cutter at a radius of, of 2.4 inches. Um, I just didn't think the rigidity was there. Granted, I was taking very light depth of cut passing, but uh, you know that's the beauty of the CNC mill is you don't necessarily have to worry about it too much. Lots of coolant, uh, 4 inches a minute and about 35 to 3800 RPM on the spindle. Um, more information available on the website, www.nyccnc.com, but as you can see, uh, fly cutting works really well. This actually is part of a bigger project, which I'm going to be finishing up here hopefully in the next two weeks, and I'll definitely have on the blog. I'm going to save any more details to keep it a little bit of a surprise, um, but expect to see this later.